feel like we're going into the championship game and that we've done everything we could to prepare for it. We're ready to go. It's game time, championship day. Bring it. My pleasure now to introduce Missy West and Colleen Healy. I am absolutely thrilled to be here. My name is Missy and this is Colleen and what an honor it is to be sharing with all of you this morning at the SGO conference. I know all of us here in this room have had our own setbacks, our own challenges because it's in these moments, these hard moments, these challenging moments when that inner critic comes in and gives us that self-doubt, that insecurity, and that fear. And if we don't have this in the right space, if we don't know how to shift our negative talk, that self-doubt, into something positive, there is no way we can be as successful as we should be, nor make it to that finish line. When I feel the fear of failure, of embarrassment, of judgment, fear that I'm not enough, fear that I don't belong in the room, that is alarm bells going off in my head, saying it's time to show up. It's time to put my best foot forward. Because only in these moments do I learn, do I grow, do I experience something new that I can actually teach somebody else. And in my short 46 years of life, I have learned that just on the other side of fear is everything that we want. Nothing happens without intentional practice. We have to have a teammate or teammates that when we have the self-doubt, they look you in the eye and they say, I believe in you. You've got this. That teammate for me is Colleen Healy. And I'm gonna to talk to all of you, regardless of title, regardless of tenure, what you can do to increase belonging on your teams. First are the features and benefits of belonging. People who feel they belong feel valued, supported, included. They feel an identity. This is my team. This is what happens when you create an environment of belonging, increased engagement, contribution, collaboration, which leads to creativity, innovation, and trust. Now, not every audience does creativity and innovation matter, but it does here. I just spent time with Marty at ISE. How are we gonna keep everybody up to speed? Well, you have to keep up to speed if you allow people to ask questions, if we reach out and coach, if someone makes a mistake or someone's not aware, that we don't monitor them, but we answer those questions for them. We're all on the same team. Hey, John, I just wanna tell you how important it is the way you sterilize the room in between patient cases, the detail, I just want you to know that I see you and you keep patients safe, thanks for what you're doing. When you walk by John three months down the line and you just look John in the eye and you nod at John, he feels that again. It extends when it's objective, when it's specific to what John does and the impact that John has. And some of you might say, well, I've been in my institution for 10 years. I'm an introvert. This isn't something that I do. If I start doing this, they're gonna think that I'm having a midlife crisis. Like, what's up with Colleen? She's um, really complimenting us a lot. She must be going through midlife crisis. <laughs> Who cares? As long as a team gets better over time, that's the consistency. Once you do it consistently over time, it becomes the social norm. Everyone starts doing it, which creates culture. And so my quote and my mantra in my life has been, the devil whispered in my ear, you cannot withstand the storm. I whispered back, I am the storm. I am the storm. You are the storm. We are the storm. I wanna thank you so much for what you do. I've learned so much in the last weekend about women's cancers below the belt. And I'm a woman in my 50s. I promise to you and Missy and I, we will continue to spread the word and the ripple effect. But you are special. And I feel better knowing there's people like you to care for people like me, should I ever get that diagnosis. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you.